Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to kill this huge horde in Days Gone. I'm going to be showing you the route I'm going to be taking to kill them, the stuff I'm going to be bringing with me to kill them, and a few other tips and tricks along the way. If you look at the pinned comment on this video, there will be some timestamps in case you want to jump to a certain section, in case you're looking for a certain thing, because I imagine it's going to be pretty long. It does take quite a while to kill one of these hordes. So if you want to st jump straight to the horde, you can do, or if you want to jump straight to the route I took, you can do all that kind of good stuff. So let's jump into it then, and we'll start with the map. As you can see, we are in the Lost Lake area. This is the horde we're going to be trying to take out. This is the area where the horde is. I actually didn't know it was a mission until I actually got a bit further in the game. I tried to film this video a few days ago before I was this far in the game, and I, I the horde destroyed me. It's a huge horde. So I've come back. Hopefully I've got the gear to sort it and do a good job on it this time, but we'll see. I will put in a few fails if there are a few fails as well, but this is where it is anyway if you're looking for the exact same horde as I'm looking for. It's Race Against Time Storyline and I'll save, I'll save some for you mission, just in case you're looking for that particular mission like on how to do it. Anyway, that's that. Let me go and talk about the gear I have. So this is my gear. And the reason I want to go through the gear quite a bit is because if you don't have the same gear and are not on the same levels as I am on the game, then yes, of course, it's going to be a lot harder. So let's start with the stuff that's not so important, which is this is my melee, but obviously you're not really going to need your melee. These are my distractions. I doubt I'll be using any of my distractions during this. My sidearm is just a pistol, not important at all. Now into the more important stuff, the medical side of it. So obviously I have five bandages. I have one med medikit at the moment. I have some health cocktails that I can actually craft. I'm going to craft a couple more of them. Now this is one of the most important things when taking down a horde in my opinion. That is the stamina cocktails. I'll probably end up using all my stamina cocktails whilst trying to take down this horde. And also the focus cocktails are there as well. Which I probably will use a few of while I'm doing the mission also. Now on to the other side, I have five pipe bombs out of six available. I have six Molotov cocktails. These bigger Molotovs are the ones that you're going to want a lot of. I have six of them currently and I probably will end up using most, if not all of these, during this fight. Now on to the throwables, guys. As you can see, I've got six pipe bombs. I've got four frag grenades. I probably will end up using them when I feel that I get the chance to throw them out. Same goes for our Molotov cocktails. But the main one is going to be the bigger cocktails that I'm able to craft. You may not be able to craft these yourself yet. And these make it a lot easier to take down hordes because they spread quite a lot of fire. So obviously, I'm not going to do any spoilers. Play through the mission. At some point, you're going to unlock these. Um, and if you're struggling, you might want to play on until you have this, this these kind of Molotovs to make it a lot easier for yourself. So they're my throwables, guys. I will end up using most of them. I will definitely be going to play some proximity traps before we start as well. Definitely something you want to do. Play some traps and just lead the horde into these traps. It's just going to help you in the long run. They're not as important as you'd think, in my opinion. But they definitely, you know, if you if you haven't if you haven't already triggered the horde, why not lay them? Okay, now moving on to the primary weapons. Now these are two weapons you won't get again until later on in the game. I haven't unlocked all the weapons yet. There may even be better weapons than these, and no doubt there probably is. But the weapons I'm going to be using is the Chicago Chicago Chopper and the. RPD. These both carry a lot of bullets, as you can see, 55 in the clip for the Chicago Chopper and 65 in the clip for the RPD, as well as many bullets in reserve, 325 for the RPD and 275 for the Chopper. Now, those are like key factors is the fact that I have so many bullets in reserve because there are going to be so many of these freakers running towards me that you definitely, or swarmers running towards me, that you're definitely going to need a lot of bullets to take them out. You're not going to be able to do it with just proximity mines and Molotov cocktails. If you don't have a lot of bullets, I may even need to pick up bullets for all I know when I'm taking down this horde. I don't know yet. I may still yet need to pick up more bullets than what I've got already. So keep that stuff in mind. And to be honest, if you haven't got this kind of weaponry already, you may be coming too early to a horde like this. You might not be able to take it out yet. You might need to just play on through the game so that you can get better stuff. That is the wheel. That is the uh, gadget and wheel sorted anyway, the weapon wheel as I call it. It's time to move on to our setup. So I'm going to take you through the setup now. Things I'm setting up. I don't have a big setup, a major setup kind of thing. It's more about just movement running, in my opinion, using your stamina cocktails at the right times, things like that. So anyway, let's run through our setup now and, yeah, get ready to kill this horde. Actually, just before we get into it, I did want to show you my skill points and you can see my endurance there, my health, stamina and focus. I've really focused on my stamina because I think it's the main thing when running away from a horde to stay ahead of them, be able to get ahead of them so you can actually do the damage when you turn back. So you can see I haven't really boosted my health on this game much at all yet. Obviously, it's something I will do in the end. 
but it doesn't really get prioritized for me. So those are my endurance stats. So you can see as well as my skills here. I think it's important you see exactly what I have just because a lot of these stats will play a part in me being able to defeat the Horde. So they're the stats I have for melee. The only ones that are really important here is probably the just roll with it. You do save stamina when you're rolling with a melee. Most of them aren't really that important when it comes to taking down Hordes. As for ranged, I almost have all the ranged stats. Is it just one I'm missing? Yeah, so I have everyone bar this one for the ranged stats. And then for the survival, again, I have a lot of the survival stats. These are the ones I have, guys. Just take that into consideration because obviously all these stats give me boosts and make me, make me a better killer, I guess you'd say. So anyway, now it's time to take us on the route. Let's go straight for it. We're going to jump down here. And we're going to trigger them from this area here. We're going to try and get as many to chase as possible. The reason for that is they can cut you off if you, you, you don't have them all coming one way. They will run like diagonally through the building and things like that and cut you off on your next route, which can obviously lead to bad things. So we're going to try and make as many of them follow us this way as we possibly can. And we're going to head down towards this little hole here. And we're going to go through here. So we're going to place a proximity bomb here now. And we'll go for the proximity mine just to start us off. Once we're through here, we're going to take a right and we're going to go straight through here. And we're going to jump under both these. We're going to place a proximity bomb in the middle of this area now. So that's one proximity bomb down. And then through here, a lot of the times they will spill over the top here. This is what I'm saying. If you haven't actually dragged them enough one way, they will spill over the top here. But that's fine because if they do, they do. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump through this window here. I'm going to probably head straight up the stairs and try and shoot some of them on the stairs here. But a lot of times they will start feeding into this building and I won't have the time to do that. I may have to head for the other stairs straight away. But we're not placing any bombs in here anyway. We're going to head straight around, straight up these stairs now. And this is where I like to place my next proximity bomb is just on here, guys. So we're going to place one just on this side on here. And we're going to go and place... How many do we have left? Uh, we can't place any more anyway. So they're going to run through here. We're going to try and get some shots on them. We're going to head upstairs then. And to the left, obviously, is the only way you can go. We'll try and get some shots, maybe throw some Molotovs here. And we're going to jump out of this window then. Once we're out here, we're going to then drop down to the floor and start running up towards the logs, which are up this way. We probably will try and turn around and shoot things like this gas canister here on our way. Always worth doing. It takes down, takes down a few of the uh, Freakers for you, makes it a lot easier. And then, obviously, we're going to go ahead and place a few of these on the logs so that we can actually, you know, really slow them down, maybe get some Molotovs out, things like that. So we'll place one there and we'll head over and we'll place another one here. After that, I am going to just take them for a wild run now. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to take them. I don't really need to talk over this. So I will speed it up a bit because I'm not placing anything on my way. So you can follow my exact route if you want. That's totally up to you. I will be dropping off this cliff here because they will not follow you off this cliff. They will go round this cliff, which gives you time then to get straight across the bridge. You do take some damage for dropping off here. Hopefully, I won't fall when I when it comes to the actual moment. Um, but yeah, you do take some damage. And then here, I'm going to be placing all my remote bombs. So I'm going to be placing these right across. I'm going to wait for the zombies to be the zombies, the freakers to be right across here when I detonate these. And then depending on how much I have left, I will just end up running around and back in and repeat, guys. Something like that until I've managed to take them on. So you, hopefully this will be quite a nice little um, area where we can get a lot of them, you know, with these proximity bombs that we're going to be letting off. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be, tell you what, it'll be an interesting one letting them off. So I'm going to stand around here and then I'm going to set them off. So that is basically the route. Let's head back to the start now. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna. This is going to be attempt number one here. I'm going to use Molotov cocktails to get them out to start with because I have plenty of them and hopefully I can kill some early ones. He's been seeing me anyway. There you go. He started it for me. Uh, hopefully this guy. Let, let me actually just hit this guy. Get lost. Okay, here they come. Let's go for a run, guys. You've got to get through here faster than them. Otherwise, you will get blown up with that. And then when you have a moment like this, you want to turn around and try and get some shots off. That's the key, is once you get a moment to turn around where they're not all over you, you do want to try and get a shot off if you can. You can see now they're making their way nicely to me. So I'll make my way under here. And I probably will get them spilling over the top here, I'd imagine. There you go. They are spilling over the top. Oh, wow. It's, not, it's actually a little bit worse than what I thought. Let's jump through here now. 
We'll get my other weapon out there. Already in here. Oh, no. Is this going to be a failed attempt? Oh, I pressed pause by accident. I definitely netly need to heal here. If you use the weapon wheel, it will slow things down. Which gives you time to do the stuff you desperately need to do. Like in this occasion, I desperately needed to heal. I'm using that to my advantage. I'm really struggling here, as you can see, though. It's not really going well, as I had hoped for my first run. We've got a little bit more control again now. But they are literally coming from everywhere. I do not have a controlled horde here. I did not even know they could get there, if I'm honest. All right, let's see if we can get this horde a little bit more controlled now. We'll head out here. Yeah, I think we've. I think this is a good uh, decision to go through here now. We've still got plenty of stamina, which is pretty decent as well. All right, let's. All right, I think this is a perfect time to get some more tough cocktails. I'm sorry if I like stutter and stuff during this. Obviously, I'm just. It takes a lot of focus, obviously, to kill one of these hordes as well. Use my roll mechanic there. We'll get them to uh, take that out. We'll use this gun because it does have bullets for us. Let's get them to activate this side now. Maybe we try and get a big Molotov out there now. Oh yeah, that's a perfect big Molotov that. Alright, so we're on a roll here I guess you could say. Burn away from these guys a bit. Well, I have something where I can actually load my guns on the run here. So I am going to load this gun now. I actually have that ability. I've not taken the route I said I was going to take there. Let's cut that down on our way past there. Again, a perfect time to turn around, get some shots off. Destroy them for a bit while we have that moment. And then run off again. Oh, wow. Been cut off. I hope... How much is here? Holy mother of... This could be it, boys. See the way I use my roll there? This is the perfect time to use a stamina cocktail here now as well. Is your roll is very important in those situations where you've got the zombies all over you. The uh, Oh, there we go. We've got a little break because we've managed to pause it there. Uh, when you have the hordes all over you, you definitely want to press... The roll button, which is going to give you more of a chance. I don't even know if I'm taking the route I said I was going to take here now. We still have a lot on us. We're not even halfway through here, boys. This was a bad time to re reload. Don't even know if I got it off, to be honest. I think I did. Let's take him. Let's take him across the bridge, boys. Let's take him across the bridge. When you're here, they're going to turn back. So you want to use this moment to try and shoot some as well. Because you know that you're not going to die here. Because when you jump off here, they do not follow you. Oh, I'm wrong. These are following me this time. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to die here. Let's have a look at this then, boys. We want to watch this part, surely. Oh, see, they didn't all follow me. I, I knew they weren't all going to follow me. A lot of them did end up going round. We'll reload here. Wow, a lot of the hordes actually turned around. Yeah, that's it. Come on, boys. Keep it coming. All right. Keep it coming, boys. Do you know what? Let's just go and blow that now. Well, that hasn't quite worked out how I wanted it to. We're going to chase this horde down now. We're not backing off here now. We're going after them. Let's do a bit of meleeing. This is my melee technique when I'm melee, guys. It's melee and roll. Melee and roll. Melee and roll. Boom, and I've got a really strong... Uh, what's it called? We'll take out this wolf while he's here chilling as well. That one shot at him, guys. We one shot at him. As you can see, my melee is really strong. This is the melee I have if you're looking for it, guys. Um, you don't get it until later on in the game, just like everything else. Let's chase that horde down and let's go for round two of them.
So we have caught up with our lovelies here, guys. So I'm just going to re reload my weapons and we're going to get straight back into this. We're not we're not even going to let them get back to their home. Boys, it's, we're, we're behind you. Let's go. Come on, follow us. Let us kill you. Snuck up on them. They didn't have a clue what was going on. Nice, I'm living this. They can't even get close to me. All right, okay, they're going to get close now. This time I'm going to just run them, run them round with me. I don't want them sneaking off again, so we're going to go out use a... Sta oh, no, we don't need a stamina cocktail here. What we do need is to reload our weapon, though, so we'll use that. There's one guy already here, so we'll hit him. All right, we're going to head across the bridge again. We don't. I don't know if we still have explosives on this bridge. We do still have some explosives on the bridge. This time, I hope they're still following me. Yeah, they are this time. That's that's more like it. So both our weapons are loaded. One of our weapons is actually running low on ammo now. That's nice. We got a few of them there. I tell you what, this is the time, yeah, to hit a Molotov here. Half of them are turning back again. They really do not like chasing me here. Oh, wow. Well, let's get some health on, guys. Oh, we actually don't have any health yet, so we're going to use a health cocktail. Boys, they are not following us across that bridge. I don't think we're going to come across that again now. They just don't fancy it. They know it's just nothing but death waiting for them across the bridge. So let's go and catch up to them again. All right, we decided we're going to run towards them this time. Oh, wow, we're going to die here. Oh, no, we need a stamina cocktail. I didn't realize I was out of stamina. I would not have made that silly move there if I, w if I, didn't, if I had realized. There we go. They're following us again now. Let's head them out this way this time. Bit of a roll. Should we take them up this hill? Why not? Why not? That's what I say. Why not? All right, they're running low a little bit now. We need to start using stuff like our Molotovs here. Otherwise, our ammo is going to run out. Nice, that's taking out so many of them. <laughs> that slowed those ones down. You can see how powerful these Molotovs are, guys. Take out a few of these while we're in the focus mode. Is there anything in front of us? We're just running? No, we're good. We're good. There we go. How much bullets do we have? We only have five bullets in that. We have 16 bullets in that. We're going to be onto our pistol in a minute. Oh, no stamina. No stamina. Let's get some stamina on. Let's get some stamina on. Uh, we can actually craft more stamina cocktail as well. And we'll use... That's when they give up, when they see me sprinting away with my... It's like, it's not fair. No fair, he's using stamina cocktails. All right, we're going to craft on these big boys here. We only have one small one left. Legit, like, I, I don't really have that many bullets left now, so... I think we're, like, down to our pistol with these guys. Not really my favorite weapon to be trying to take down a horde. I'm starting to wonder how we're going to take the end of this all out. Oh, pipe bombs. We have some pipe bombs. Ah, no, 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 no. All right, let's get these pipe bombs out. We'll see if these work. Some nice movement there, guys. Some nice movement. Are we heading back towards where we need to be heading? We are indeed. Cause I want I want the horde like I want it to be up on the screen how strong the horde is. So I'm gonna head back there now. 
Alright, yeah, this is it. This is the end of the horde right here. There's two guys left. Oh, don't die now. Seriously, if I die now, that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Let's get a health cocktail on. Four bullets left. Oh, it's still not considered the end of the horde, though. We, we definitely have some more somewhere. All right. So, let's go and see what's left. There we go. We managed to do it, guys. We managed to take that horde out in the end. It took so long. And as you can see, the mission now is playing in the background. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here because I don't really want you guys to see. Actually, do you know what? I'll skip until after all the scenes now so that you guys don't have to see any spoilers or anything like that. And that's it, guys. Mission complete. I didn't want to show you all the end things, showing me get the uh, points and stuff like that because there were some spoilers in there. And I'm trying to make the videos as spoiler free as I possibly can. That's how you take down a horde. Unfortunately, it's not as uh, clear cut as they follow you around until you kill them all. Which is the way I would like it. I'd like it if they stuck with you a little bit more kind of thing. Or managed to stay with a horde a little bit more or whatever. Unfortunately, they did break off a few times. So there may be a few cuts in there. I don't know yet whether I'm going to add any cuts or what. We'll see at the, like how I feel. I've got maximum actual cards. I've got a thousand cards. You, can, you can't have any more cards. Um, that's unfortunate. I'll have to go and spend them somewhere. Um, with that being said, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Any questions on chasing down hordes or anything like that, leave them in the comment section down below. This particular horde was a huge horde. This was a big, big horde. It was harder than any other horde I've had to take down so far. I think it had more numbers than any horde I've taken down so far. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.